Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And we are starting out with a card from the Moonology Oracle deck, one of the most amazing and beautiful Oracle decks that I own. Um, honestly, one of the two Oracle decks that I own. Um, but let's go ahead and just see what we get here for you. I own a lot more tarot decks, but I need to up my oracle deck collection uh, because it is sparse. Okay, we're going to pick the first card that is up here on the deck, and it is, wow, have faith in your own dreams. I love that. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because I feel like that's something that we hear all the time, but we fail to do properly for ourselves is having faith in our own dreams. Um, and I don't know if this is something you can relate to, um, Scorpio, but, you know, I'm the type of person that really likes to push people to do what they want, even if it seems taboo or weird or whatever. Uh, but then when I get the same type of encouragement, I'm like, no, no, that's not possible. I can't do that, right? It's kind of like we are afraid of our own greatness sometimes, or we're afraid of taking the same plunge that we tell others to take when it comes to their own dreams. So I wonder, you know, if right now you have a, a dream that you want to kind of pursue and, and see where it takes you, but you're just afraid um, maybe of failing. Maybe, you know, your dream requires a lot of work. Maybe there's sacrifices. Maybe there's investments. Maybe your dream um, feels far-fetched, but what if it's not? What if that's something we are simply putting uh, on top of ourselves or in front of ourselves and instead of just removing that um, you know we're kind of letting that stop us so let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say about that whoa okay um, so we have the king of cups at the bottom of the deck so divine uh, masculine water energy um, it's an interesting because the queen of cups is also here um so let's just dissect this king of cups at the bottom of the deck so we'll just keep that in mind we also have nine of pentacles eight of wands nine of swords queen of wands and queen of cups um i'm gonna just go out on a limb here and say that maybe some of you um have um maybe some mother wounds or childhood wounds that you are realizing have maybe impacted your ability to believe in yourself or you know maybe there's stuff from your childhood that every time this dream comes up you realize oh man there's something here that doesn't let me move forward with it and maybe through inner work and shadow work and all of that you're realizing oh it's that thing that i went through or it's this experience or it's what I grew up in, you know, that's the reason why, even though I have what I, what I, you know, believe I need, and even though, you know, I have the passion, and I have, you know, the, the, the eagerness, or the experience, I still won't do it because of this thing, so I feel like the nine of swords kind of depicts that, um, that frustration, because that's what it feels like, it feels like you want to leap, and soar, and take this, um, idea and really make it something but then that feeling of I'm not good enough or um, I can't do it that's what's holding you back here that's what that nine of swords is represent it's like that infliction that we put on our on ourselves that wasn't our our own to begin with it's something that we um, received or we heard or it's kind of like the universe is like don't don't believe the lies you were told about you you know don't believe the things that others people felt entitled to say um your dreams are worth chasing your opinions are worth um respecting you know your time is valuable how you want to use it how you want to spend it matters um i feel like the queen of cups and the queen of wands may represent those different energies maybe there's somebody in your life that um acts acts both as a motivator but also your biggest critic, right? Maybe this is you. Maybe that's what that's who you are to yourself. You are both, you know, the person that helps you thrive because you love yourself, but you also have high expectations and maybe you are hard on yourself. And so then you also kind of create that feeling of, um, you know, what if I'm not good enough? So maybe this is, again, maybe there's a maternal wound. Maybe this is um, 
someone in your life that you have a close relationship to or had a close relationship to and their voice is always there, you know. I feel like the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups could also maybe talk about those um, very interesting water and fire qualities that Scorpios possess because we are ruled by two very different planets, right? Almost opposite um, planets if you think about it. We're talking about Mars and Pluto, like one of the hottest planets versus the planet that really isn't even a planet apparently because NASA once decided um, that Pluto wasn't important enough, right? We're talking about such a small, dark, um, cold planet compared to, you know, many others and those two energies can't be more opposite and yet we seem to still make that work, right? We're composed of this energy that um, kind of maybe feels like contradictory and yet here we are. So Scorpio, I feel like the universe is like, that's a good thing. That's a, a superpower. That's something you can use to your benefit um, if you know how to harness that energy. So maybe somebody said a lot of things about you at one point, Scorpio, because they were afraid of how powerful you would be. Maybe they knew, oh, this is a Scorpio that I'm dealing with? Yeah, no, I gotta put the lights out on this one because they're gonna be big someday and I can't handle that, right? Maybe the universe has, you know, made you realize that someone was projecting a whole lot of insecurity on you and said some things that you weren't supposed to take to heart because you're better than that, right? You're not the things they said and so now looking towards, you know, your life and maybe, you know, this dream that you have, you're like, I, I think, I think I get it now. Um, so I feel like nine of pentacles and eight of wands is where the shift happens. Okay. I think this is you realizing, yeah, I, I can do this. Um, eight of wands could even be you receiving, um, that, uh, information or receiving the confirmation or something that makes you feel a little bit more secure, about going after this, maybe you're even um, just having your own sort of, you know, moment where you don't need anyone to tell you it's okay, you're just telling yourself, you know, it feels like there's an internal transformation there. Um, it could also be that maybe you're already taking the steps in following your dreams, but that faith part is the one that maybe is a little bit difficult at this time. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into that Eight of Wands. Let's see what that's really about. Okay, so to further clarify the Eight of Wands, we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, Justice, which is Libra, Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. So we have the Eight of Cups, so maybe um, you have already decided to walk away from something. Maybe you've already made peace with something. Um, I feel like someone, someone um, could be making it difficult for you to chase your dreams. Um, maybe it's that same person, right, that was afraid. I feel like the universe wants you to advocate for yourself. Um, I feel like the universe wants you to make something right. And by make something right, I mean to just do what you're doing regardless um, of, a, of what anyone has to say. This could also be about you needing to take some very serious um steps in order to make sure that the boundaries that you've put up stay up. So for some of you, maybe not all of you, but for some of you, this could even be some legal things that need to happen, right? Maybe it's a restraining order. Maybe it's just, you know, something that makes it super clear that you don't want someone to interfere, right? It doesn't have to go to those extreme measures. Um, and I am by no means saying that that is what's happening on a general scale, but I'm just saying that sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. And Scorpio, what you are doing is nothing short of important and amazing. So I think that protecting that is definitely necessary. But it's also like, um, you're so close to maybe the most important part of this journey that you're on. That's what I think the Seven of Pentacles is saying. It's like you're you're right there getting close to that Eight of Pentacles where that work is really being done. And then eventually, you know, we already see the Nine of Pentacles. And then we know what comes after that. And so I feel like you're you're in the most important part, like whatever you're doing right now, um, that cannot be touched. That cannot be, um, you know, mis, um, misplaced. I don't know. It's just, I feel like you, you, you're in this very special spot right now. It's like you have this precious energy. You're motivated. You're doing it. You're going for it. Um, nothing can get in between you and, and your dreams, right? Um, it's just not, not possible. Um, 
the universe won't allow it. And so I feel like this Queen of Swords is you having to set the record straight um, and let whoever know, right, that this is what you're doing and that you're not going to back away from that. Um, I feel like the Eight of Cups could also be that you have... Um, I feel like you are believing in yourself in a different way, right? Like maybe you've always believed your, believed in yourself when it comes to your work or maybe in school, maybe you were always a good student. Um, but when it came to trusting your own emotions and trusting how you felt about things, maybe you were not really sure all the time. Maybe, you know, you were um, overwhelmed by the intense emotional reaction that Scorpios can have to things that you were just like, I feel a lot and that's about it. That's all I know. Now, I feel like this is saying you know how to handle that emotion. You know how to handle that intensity. You know what to do with your feelings. Um, and that puts you in a very powerful place. Again, again, <laughs> the same powerful place that made someone scared once. But that's not your problem, right? So, uh, Scorpio, I hope you feel how much the universe wants you to go for your dreams, especially uh, with this Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is you when you're ready to take action and really just say i'm going it i'm going for it i'm doing it um very powerful energies coming through i really really hope that you take it all in because this is um, amazing um if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one